Sonny Carbon, welcome to another episode of the MMA Monday, back in your life, the only MMA podcast in the whole world that is not sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> welcome everybody, it's the Funk It Pod, it's the MMA Monday, because it's Monday and you know what that means. We talk about what happened in MMA this past week. I'm going to keep it very short this time around because there's a special MMA Monday airing just in a few moments, an awesome interview with a really awesome fighter from one championship i don't want to spoil too much check it out on the funk it pod channel like youtube everywhere you get your podcasts it was a pretty fun interview <laughs> so check it out i just thought about what we discussed there so please do check it out um yeah hence i'm keeping it a bit shorter here today uh, and just go through what actually happened um this past weekend. So let's jump right into it and discuss what happened at UFC Fight Night in Vegas once again. We saw a five-round main event <laughs> between Tiago, Marjeta, Santos, and Johnny Walker from Ireland. <laughs> of course, he's, he's heading out of Ireland. If you're Johnny Walker, you have to be out of Ireland now, right? Um, yeah, it was... I don't want to say lame, but it wasn't what we expected. But it's never the case. You have two knock out artists and then of course nothing happened so uh, this was a five round ordeal santos was the more active was landing the harder shots um johnny walker kept his distance they tried to outpoint santos didn't work because santos was just throwing a bit harder and with more intention especially in the later rounds got the win uh, i agree with the ud here but overall johnny walker you gotta go for more, man. You're, you're bigger, you're faster, you have all this those crazy shit in your arsenal. Like, why don't you go for it? Why do you try to have like a, a point karate tournament here? Yeah. But Thiago Santos, well well done, you know, well fought. He knew that what was on st at stake here because he lost before, and maybe I think it was the last fight on his contract or something. So um smart fight, you won. Congratulations. Um now off to to greener pastures. Let, let's hope. Uh, co main event. Big Mouth versus Kyle Dawkins. Um, yeah, it was, of course, like weird because first, of course, Kyle Dawkins shoots. Kevin Holland fights. And while he's fighting to keep the fight upright, he's talking shit to DC. Like, hey, that's better, DC, right? That's better. And it's like across the octagon. <laughs> like, oh, man, Kevin Holland does what Kevin Holland does. Um, I'm a bit bored of it by now, to be honest. I would like to see him put on a show in the octagon before he focuses on the trash talking again, but whatever. We didn't see much because eventually they both butted heads like crazy and uh, Holland was probably kind of out from the head, but and then um, Dawkins took his back eventually and choked him out. Um, props for Kevin Holland for coming back to it somehow in between and still scrambling somewhat, but um, yeah, so that, that ended um, first in a win for Dawkins, but got overturned and into a no contest. Kevin Holland himself said he thinks he lost. Um, but of course, I mean, he takes a no contest and he wants to run it back ASAP. And we also had Alex Oliveira versus Nico Price. That was interesting because first Oliveira didn't look like Oliveira at all. Um, then Oliveira looked like Oliveira. And then in the third round, Oliveira just didn't have anything to add anymore. So um, that's why the Nico Price uh, just got the got the UD here. Um, Alex Oliveira just completely ran out of steam at, at, at the end. Um, yeah, so that's actually the only thing that I want to review now because, like I said, I keep it short this time. That's why I talk so fast this time around as well. Um, what do I think of it? I think um, the main event was okay, but it was just not like the fireworks. We, we thought Kevin Holland, we would have liked to see more versus Kyle Dawkins. Unfortunately, couldn't, but let's hope they schedule a rematch rather soon. And Alex Oliveira just completely ran out of steam, which also was a bit disappointing to see that. But props to Nico Price for, for pushing through, of course. Uh, what's going to happen next? Well, next week, there's only one fight. Uh, night happening it's only UFC Bellator is in two weeks I believe one championship is in in two weeks ten days from now and PFL also is like end of October right so there's nothing else happening right now so the main event then will be Mackenzie Dern back in action let's hope that actually um, stays on the card let's hope nothing happens versus Marina Rodriguez and um I'm not good with odds, but I think if you're a minus, it means you're a favorite. So Mackenzie Dern is a favorite versus Marina Rodriguez. No surprise here. Um, I think Mackenzie Dern is always a favorite, or almost always a favorite. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if she pulls it off here. And this is actually already the 
biggest fight on that card. And I don't want to shit on any one of the other fighters, of course, because they all can kick my ass, of course, in their sleeps. But the co main event is Randy Brown versus Jared Gooden. Who? I, I mean, if you're a hardcore fan, and yes, I know them too. I'm just trying to look at it from a, from a more like, not super casual, but from a more like yeah, casually point of view. Like, you're going to tune into Randy Brown versus Jared Gooden? Yes, I will. But a Tim Elliott versus Matthews Nicolo, I don't even know him, unfortunately. Yeah, Maria Agapova, she doesn't even have a fighter picture. She has a at least they have a picture, like a black and white picture in, for in a t shirt, but not even a fighter picture. So, please. Interesting though, might be one of the, the, the first fight on the main card because it's going to be Phil Hawes. He came in with some steam like back then, right? Versus Darren Wynn. I'm not seeing, saying mini DC, right? No, I'm not. Um, that should be like, that's, I'm just interested to see like how this goes, obviously, right? I, I don't really know how to pick that anymore, to be honest. I always pick Darren Wynn and then, yeah, we know what happens. So. Let's let's just see how this goes. I'm not I'm not really sure what to think about it. To to be quite honest, um, one thing I realized while I was preparing and while I'm just going through the list right now that I made, the UFC website is really terrible still. So yeah, UFC, if you need a new website, uh, shout out here. Um, what also was interesting this week was that Aspen Ladd didn't make weight. You've probably seen it. Like she was struggling in the scale and then she came out on social media like, hey, yeah, I effed up, but it's like period time. And so everything just came together. And I think most people were like very understanding, especially on social media. I was like, oh, hey, no bad comments. But then Misha Tate, of all people, comes out with the negative comments like, yeah, it's just an excuse. You effed up. What? Like, Da, da, da. So she's like throwing shade at Aspen Lad here while I think most guys are like, oh, okay, it's the period, so can't say anything. I'm sorry that you suffer that much from the period. Um, but but um, yeah, her contemporary basically was like, that's BS. Don't use those excuses. <laughs> you know, Misha Tate, ruthless Misha Tate. Aspen Lad just replied, to, she's like, hey, you're a legend. I have respect for you, so I'm not going to entertain any, any negativity here. Um, and I'm going to make sure it's never going to happen again. I think that's the, that's the best way of handling it for, for Aspen Lad uh, in this case, I believe. Uh, other news that we talked about this week, um, there are two things. One, apparently City Kickboxing is moving to the States, does not speak or does not shine a good light onto uh, what's happening there in New Zealand. You always are like New Zealand, land of the Kiwis, like they're so cool and happy and everyone, apparently not. So that does not shine, shine a good light uh, to what's happening over there. And speaking of city kickboxing, and that's the main story of the week for me, like that crazy son of a, you know what, Dan Hooker, he's on the small schmo zone, like taking shots. And like, I'm not going to take a short notice from Isla Makachev. It would be stupid. Like, I don't have time to prepare. What's That doesn't make any sense. Five minutes later, confirmed. <laughs> Dan Hooker takes short notice fight end of October versus Isla Makachev. Dan Hooker, you're a crazy son of a... You know it. And that's why you have to love Dan Hooker. And he's like explaining it all smiles on Submission Radio. And I believe and also like on the Mac Live with Oscar. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, I mean... They ask him, like, what, what, why did you say you wouldn't take the fight? He's like, well, yesterday I wouldn't. I didn't have an offer, but then I woke up today and they called me a few times. They didn't get hold of me. And then when I called back, they're like, they offered me the fight and I can't turn down a fight. So, yeah, let's fight. <laughs> that dude is amazing. I love Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker, here you go. Um, and also props to the family of Dan Hooker for like being cool with it. Like he said, his wife is cool. I mean, of course he has to say it, but respect, respect to that, um, to the whole family. And man, I hope he pulls it off. Like, I hope he finds the right training partners. <coughs> Pardon me, the excitement. I hope he finds the right training partners uh, in, in Vegas right now. I hope they can plan everything out so that, that it fits within the month. <laughs> Just go wrestle, Dan. Just wrestle. Four months, four months, four weeks hardcore wrestling training right now. Come on. You can do it. Dan Hooker, if you pull off this thing, you're a legend for life. Like, seriously. Dan Hooker versus Islam Makhlchev um, should, be, should be a fun um, a fun event. I hope Chael Sonnen picks Islam Makhlchev to win. <laughs> That's it for this week already. I promise it's I keep it short, sweet and short, because my special is going uh, live in just a bit. So it's... Stick around for this one. Stay tuned. The special is going live anytime soon. If you want to get in touch, please do so at Funkitpod on social media everywhere. Um, you want to follow, stalk, and so on. 
email funkypod at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, or leave reviews. That really helps to get found. So thank you very much for this. iTunes, Google Podcasts, and so on, Stitcher, wherever you are. Um, leave reviews. Interact with the polls on Spotify as well. I put up some poll, put up some polls and so on. Interact with me there. That'd be cool. And um, yeah, check out the interview that's gonna go live in just a bit. So thanks for being here. Stay safe, take care. I'll see and talk to you soon. Sorry, Carl.